We'll guide you through how to fix a blank screen on startup on your MacBook. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super annoying and worrying, so let's get in some fixes. So first of all, what you want to do is go and shut down your Mac. To go and do that, you need to go and hold down the power button or the fingerprint scanner button for around 10 seconds and it should shut down. It'll go completely black. And then what you want to do is try starting it again. So you can then hold down the fingerprint scanner or the power button for a couple of seconds and then it should start up. If the screen is still black or blank, then what you need to do is go and hold the button down again for it to go and shut down. And then what you want to do is try holding it again. It will go and start up, but you need to go and continue to hold it. As you can see, it will say continue to holding for startup options. And once it then goes and says loading startup options, release. And then it's going to go and take you to the startup options. Once they go and load, go and click on options here. And what you then need to do is press continue. Select the user and click on continue. After you've entered your password, you get to this screen here. Select disk utility and click on continue. On the disk utility page, go and select your disk on the left here. With it selected, go to the top and click on first aid. And what you can do is go and run this and this will hopefully go and fix the problem which may be causing the blank screen. Click on run and hopefully your problem will then be solved. If you found this useful, then leave a like.